Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I will be fixing issues related to the counter system. Okay. So there's two issues that we have at the moment. The first one being when we do the last attack uh, on uh, on an enemy, it results in a finisher, right? So if I finish the finisher, right, and during that time, an enemy comes to counter me. If I try to counter, it won't actually allow me to counter that enemy. Okay, so that's a bug that we have. And the second one that we have is when we do a long distance counter. So we have two checks, right, for counters. One is nearby. Uh, it just directly go to them and counter. Otherwise, in the long range counter, we have an animation played. And after the animation completes, we do the counter, right? So there's two counters. So on the second one, the play animation and then counter that is bugged out a bit. Okay. So I cannot, uh, get out of the combat state, combat state from there. Okay. So we'll fix that over there as well. So let me actually first try to show you what the issue is. Okay. Because visualization always helps. Okay. And, um, yeah, then we'll go into the bug fixing. As you can see, I can no longer counter him, but now if someone comes, I will be able to counter him over here. And now you see I'm stuck over here. So this is the second bug as well. So now in close range, it does not happen that it's only where you play the dash animation. That's where it's bugged out like this. Okay. So we'll go ahead and fix these issues. Okay. So let's first go to the BP player event graph. Let me first comment these out. Okay. I already have attack com comment graph. So just comment in the counter. Then this is the finisher. And the last one is teleport and kill. So on the attack where we can play finisher, we do the teleport and kill. So I'm just checking the code over here if we are doing something wrong. If current and counter enemies are the same, then only we reset the counter enemy in clear, otherwise we do not. So this is fine. What I think the issue is, it's in the anime notify finisher hit. So let's go over there. And yeah. We actually use the current enemy for the finisher, but I have reset the counter enemy over here. So we need to reset the current enemy. Okay. But also on the current enemy, we are calling the apply damage function, right? So I have to set the count the enemy uh, sorry set the current enemy as null after applying the damage to the current enemy right so I'll just go ahead plug that back in and this one should fix it also another thing I need to check in the FFCC is is where the um, current enemy is being set yeah we have a control enemy logic function over here so what I'll do is I'll make sure it is valid because we are setting it to null and when we set it to null, if it runs over here with this, it will actually cause an error and might crash the game. So we do not want that, right? That's why I use valid is must. And then we get component by class and control name logic. Okay. Seems good. Let's go ahead and test it.
Yeah, I can counter with no issue, and also long distance counters. Let's see. Right, we did not fix that, right? I bet. So, what I think the issue for that? I think the issue lies in the notify as well over there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fix that. So, for the fix, we should. look at the tele not teleport sorry over here in the counter i think we are doing it using a ans let's see the name of it that is the ans player teleport okay so it's a c++ class so let's go to our c++ and yeah ans teleport player and there's we are calling it from the ffc right so let's go ahead play counter montage so this is used for yeah so what i'll do is i'll actually not have this over here okay i'll change some code over here in the ffcc base okay okay so we'll remove this um what is it play counter montage will remove this function over here okay from the ffcc base okay so i'll delete this over here now why i'm deleting is is on completed we want to call the reset function and the reset function is basically a part of the bp player right so we don't actually need to we shouldn't be calling the ffcc for this case okay so we'll go ahead and create a function on the player base okay so let's see do we have a character <clears throat> i don't think we made a character base for our bp player right do we have it yeah we don't actually have a character base for it per se right so let's go ahead and create that c++ class okay Um, I'll call this ffcc underscore character base. I'll call this character. Okay, we need this because, like, even in the future when we do interfaces, we'll require this character base as is. So it's better to actually have the base made already. Okay, so I'll create the class. Okay, now once that is done, I'll close this. Okay. In the character base, in the public classes, I'll make a void. Dash counter montage. Okay. Now this will be a function, <clears throat> and we'll use the in property same as this one. Okay, over here. Now again, like in the interfaces video, we'll move this function to interfaces. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and implement this one. And again, if you are thinking why I'm not doing the interface function right now. it's because interfaces uh again i want to do interfaces in c++ not in blueprints because okay right so yeah over here as well uh we need to change it this one will be 
FFCC underscore character. Okay, so this one will be character. Okay, now this is changed on the ANS player teleport. Now let's go ahead and compile. Okay, now again, uh, as I was saying, so if you're thinking like why I'm not doing the interfaces as is right now, I plan to do that in C++ because a lot of the tutorials, like YouTube tutorials like this, a lot of videos on interfaces using blueprints, but not really so much for the C++ one. So if you want to go ahead and use the blueprint ones, go ahead, use it. I also have, uh, I also teach about interfaces in my horror uh, tutorial and as well as the dungeon crawler as well. So you can go ahead and check those out as well over there. So how to create the interfaces, okay, over there, okay. I have went through details of blueprint interfaces over there. So just check that. Okay, so now let's go ahead to the BP player. Okay, now this is from the character base, right? Actually, we no longer require it from the character base, okay? Like, do we have any functions in the character base that we just made? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing's here, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to the class settings, right? I'll change it and make sure nothing breaks, right? Yeah, I don't think it broke, but if it broke, I'll fix those. If anything comes along, okay? Don't worry about it. Now what I can do, I can override the dash counter montage, okay? and i'll get the logic from here okay cut it out and paste it here and for the mesh i can just put it over here and for counter enemy i'll have the ffcc I also need to make sure this is valid. Okay. And the same thing over here. I'll just add this logic from the completed. Okay. Now, once that is done, it should be fixed. Well, wow. right. Mm, in the viewport, make sure you go to your mesh. Add the SK mannequin from our characters. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Minus 90. And this one is minus 80. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's wrong? It's not rotating properly, so I am pretty sure there could have been a reference, I would say, probably so. So I'll just gonna change it to BP character and let's see what the issue is. Okay, I'll repair it and from here. I'll reparent this one to our FFCC, okay? And obviously, like, we'll have to debug that as well, okay? Because I don't actually want to have these many references one after the other, okay? As you can see, now the rotation is fine. So, even if I change, see, the rotations are properly set, okay? For some reason over there. the event graph 
we can still have the override the function okay without any issues so yeah i think that should fix it yeah okay now see let's see the dash okay yeah okay what's wrong with this all oh, right the abb player right okay so that takes care of the major bugs that we had okay so i'll end it over here and in the next lecture we'll be moving to the directional counter and after that we'll be moving to um beat down okay so for that uh, there will be an animation as well uh that will be added for the patrons okay so yeah uh thank you guys and i will see you in the next lecture and also uh, now the tiers have changed for patrons okay so now there's three tiers instead of one so if you want to support me and my work please go and check them out thank you